Hello and welcome to Kyalagra Market, our daily program on Nifty and Bank Nifty analysis. Without further ado, today let's jump right into what the market holds for us. In a very significant day, which is the RBI policy day tomorrow, right? So first things first. Yesterday we said that if it sustains the close, it can test 20 to 100. And we also highlighted that close to 20 to 100, there is the middle of the channel. In fact, it jumped, it opened very close to the middle of the channel. 22,053 was today's high, but immediately witnessed selling. It could not really sustain the middle of the channel, but it got sold off. And today it closed at this level. So we had high, highlighted this resistance, uh, and which is now a support, <coughs> which is the top of the bearish engulfing was the level which we were looking at yesterday. Right, so let me see this top of the this bottom or uh, this top of the bearish engulfing, which was formed uh, one, two, three days back, was our level. Yesterday, it tried to invalidate it. Today, it gapped open and now it has come back and rested right there. Now, the question is, where does it go from here? And tomorrow, there's an RBA policy. So, let's try and decode, right. See, if it starts going below this level, which is today's close, it can go down and probably go to the bottom of this channel. And if it is able to successfully hold this level, which is today's close, then it can probably go test middle of the channel again. But one thing which is very clear is that this gap between this 2235, where I'm hovering now, this tiny candle and this level, that is uh, going to be very tricky for Nifty to cross. This middle of the channel is also very hard for Nifty to close. If it's able to test and close the middle of the channel, we can see a new all-time high probably. But as long as it is below, the probability of 21,500, 21,600 is always on the cards, right? That is Nifty. Now let's look at Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty again, uh, the 100 DMA proved out to be some kind of a support, but today is an indecisive candle, which is... Uh, Doji on Bank Nifty. Nifty unable to cross 22,050 to 22,100 today. Uh, settled on the support zone of uh, 21,900. Make if 21900 goes, we can see lower levels. If 22100 breaks, probably see ATH. Right now, let's look at option chain. This should be very interesting today. A uh, lot of call writing, right? Which was which is not surprising at all. Some put writing, a lot of call writing, and the option chain is really balanced, right? It could be anybody's game lot of call writing today right and uh, this is very split right i can't really <clears throat> point out whether this is bullish or bearish evenly matched option chain is 0 0.8 anyone's game and now let's look at participant OID. So today's this thing, today's bank nifty expiry rate. I'm just going to make sure it is because of the, because the last time I committed that FOPA of uh, incorrectly ERA NSE while cub expiries. It must be some easy to remember expiry, right? Like sometimes it is Wednesday, sometimes it's Thursday monthly. Who keeps track of all this rule? Like, Bank Nifty expiry 7th Feb. Okay, okay. So today there was Bank Nifty expiry. <clears throat> Therefore, these changes could be because of expiring options. <clears throat> so we will go to overall positioning. Overall positioning, um, FII is short 1.2L calls. Pro, sorry, FII is not short calls here. What am I talking about? Sorry. FII is long 1.2L puts. Pro is long 
1 lakh puts So client must be short around 12 puts, right? As simple as that. Yeah, client is <coughs> short 2.5 L puts. So client is short puts, FIA and PRO are both <coughs> long puts. No, no call volumes really. So if tomorrow there's a one-sided movement, clients will get hit quite badly right now when it comes to futures <coughs> client is longer than it was yesterday client is long around 80k 75k futures uh, pro is long around uh, 38k futures and fi must be short around 80k futures so client long 80k futures 75k rather fa short around 80k futures participant stock data must have sold right today yep 1700 crore sell verdict tomorrow's rbi policy Nifty is at make or break levels. Uh, see which side gets broken and take that side. If you ask me, my bias is my bias is bias is bearish, but do not go by that. Big simply because there's no point in having a bias before an event, right? Because it's an event, anything can happen. Uh, so there's no point in going by <clears throat> uh, Sohil is asking, give us insider info on trading exchange. Bro, let me put it this way. People who have insider info do not conduct uh, free YouTube sessions at 9.30 p.m. Uh, sitting from their apartments in sitting from their rented apartments in Bangalore, they have much better things to do. So, no, no, I don't have any insider info. If I had insider info, you know, <laughs> but yeah. Uh, so, uh, okay. So let me look at. Uh, just we look at dollar because we know it nothing will have AR. Maybe we should not look at dollar spoilless. When I think I should put a WhatsApp alert on Sensible. If at all something happens on dollar, give me like a yeah, nothing. I mean it is testing the lower end of the spectrum, 80 to 93, but broadly nothing is happening. Maybe it can correct. See, it is of course supported by the central bank, so, <clears throat> but yeah, this is happening. So we don't know what is the scene here, but this is happening, right? So what is my larger meta? Uh, no point in taking trades while policy is happening tomorrow. And also the thing is this, right? Uh, so I can give you a very rad idea, which is either Nifty is going to, see, this is an unstable level, right? Nifty might go here and break out and form 22,800. Or Nifty can just crash to 21,500 or maybe even 20,800, uh, 20,900 kind of levels. Uh, I mean, one thing you can do is you can do a February end ka iron condor, basically the this trade. Right? I, I just just uh, just a very rad idea. But if if you have to take a trade and if you can think of nothing else one thing you can do is and i would strongly say ki probably you shouldn't do this if you do iron condor for february 22nd or something see if you think this is an unstable level and yase kuch to hoga then uh, 
you can probably do this iron condor which is uh, having a break even of one and a half percent on either side it will break even so if you have a movement which is more than one and a half percent on either side this should make money then there is or you can do an iron butterfly which is uh, one percent on either side it will make money but if it stays right here it won't be very nice and in fact the risk reward is poor it's only 1500 plus and 8500 negative so but if you think somewhere it will go i don't know up or down but somewhere it is definitely going then probably you can think of fine condor i am but but nay why why take all this drama just before rba policy so i don't think it's a <coughs> good idea uh ravi kiran you can see my video on uh youtube you can just search for government bond sensible you'll see this uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so basically long story short, I don't think it's a good idea to trade in this market simply because I don't think anybody would have meaningfully made any money in the last few days. See, the thing is this, right? Let's say you shorted here. When that shooting star was formed, you wouldn't have made any money. Let's say you longed yesterday night <coughs> on the close. You still wouldn't have made any money unless you get out today on open. <coughs> basically, <coughs> if you look at the close of Nifty, um, in the last few days, where's the close? It is uh, 21,853. So 21,697, 21,700 roughly, 21,850, 150 points, 21,770, um, 70 move, points move from here. Then there is 21,929, that is 150 points here. But then again, today was a flat close. Maybe if you directionally deploy iron condors, etc., you might have ended up making money, but this is a market which can break out on either side anytime. Would you want to go into that scene is a different question. I don't think it's really given any kind of directional opportunity in the last few days. Maybe yes, you could have deployed iron condor, but honestly, four days back when market gave this movement, and I think this was Monday, right? Uh, this is uh, yeah, this is Friday. So Friday, if you had deployed an iron condor on the shooting star, first of all, it's very difficult to deploy an iron condor on a shooting star because it's a, a directional signal. But you would have earned three days theta. But again, yesterday there was a 150 point gap, so I don't know how it, that would have gone. And today again there was a, an up move. I really don't know if you had done a neutral trade unless you held on to it with all your nerve, if you would have made any money or not. So it's tough here. I don't think it's very, <clears throat> in retrospect, it's easy to say, uh, ki, <clears throat> ye hoga, wo hoga, etc. But I don't think it was a very easy um, thing to do. Ashutosh is asking, we all know <clears throat> the rate decision is unchanged, but why wait? Ashutosh, it's not about the rate. It's about how people will react to whatever they want to react tomorrow, right? So it's not at all about RBA policy. I am not saying that RBA policy is uncertain and let us wait. What I'm saying is that the reaction to RBA policy is uncertain. Therefore, let us wait. See, ultimately, policy doesn't matter, right? But how people decide to make the market run tomorrow is what matter. And that it could be because policy may there's some uncertainty. If nothing else, people will just make... Uh, some reason, some commentary, some tone, dovish, hawkish, the reason to make market sell off or buy back, right? Ultimately, I don't have any, like, I don't have any uh, question marks on events or decisions. I only have question marks on how market chooses to react to that. So, therefore, um, yeah, I wouldn't want to gamble on RBA event, right? So, this is our analysis for today. We'll see you again tomorrow with greater clarity after RBA. We will... Uh, 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 we will uh, see what is the weekly candle looking like. So I'll just give you a preview of that uh, weekly candle. Weekly candle is very tricky. It's a doji cross as of now, but it's, it's premature to comment on a weekly candle on a Wednesday. And this weekly candle is also looking super tricky. Nothing formed as of now. 
so yeah this is a wait and watch uh, week so this is our uh, uh, video for today we'll see you again tomorrow thank you so much for joining and as usual please take care and keep your capital